Whoa, hello friends, this is Jeff playing Ultimate Admiral, Age of Sail, American Campaign, as you can see, John Paul Jones, um, playing on um, hard land and hard sea battles. So, this is all that I have left right here, but the next battle is to challenge. Now, this one, uh, again, I'm playing a hard campaign, so I'm going to keep following the orders. As I mentioned, I don't know if anybody knows, but at one point you could go beyond follow orders and make it even harder. But is it because I'm playing a hard campaign that I don't see that on the scroll? I only see I can make it easier by head-on attack, but I lose 2,800 in money, and I lose one reputation. So if you know that answer, you could uh, put it in the notes. Other than that, I'll stop asking that because, you know, I've been asking that for quite a while. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and play on follow orders. So this is what we're going to get if we win. Now, this battle coming up, it can be tricky. So, I mean, a lot of the battles are tricky, actually. <laughs> what I call tricky, because different things can happen in them. Which makes it a little bit difficult. But, anyways. We got we got to put six in here. I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, this one won't, because they got a mortar. And mortars won't do me any good in uh, sea battles. Now, here's what I'm thinking. The very first ship... If I put this slow transport, it'll it'll get us closer to where I'm going to need it. Because if I put it at the end, it's going to be way in the back, and it's going to take forever to get there. So this is what I'm thinking. Now, tell me if that's a good plan or not. But anyways, so I'm going to put that one first, and then I'll put the best ship, my third rate. It's the only third rate I got. But I'll put that one in. I'll put the Dennis the Bangor. I used to live in Bangor, Maine. And I will put the... Uh, oh, I got a fire ship. Yeah. Alright, so... Yeah, I'll put the fire ship in. And then I'll put this ship in last. Okay. So, I mean, that gives me... I mean, in a hard campaign, I mean, considering... Um, I only have six ships. That gives me 2,433. And we got, a, a you know, like 100 on mortar and 100 between two units. And a 40 crew on that, that ship. But that ship has no guns. But anyways, all right, enough said. You know, I like to just tell you things and give you information. But anyways, let's get going. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just... Um, I don't like how it gives you information, but it keeps the game going. You know what I mean? Like, when you read those things, it should freeze the game. So we're not wasting time, because right now, these guys are shooting at this little guy over here. And, you know, I didn't get to do anything. So, um, it's all it's saying is that, you know, we gotta, we gotta last for 37 minutes. And, and these two ships are going to be pounding on this ship here. Now, I think we can even lose this ship, and it won't matter, but... Because that would be foolish, because of the way they start to sell. They should have these guys back here a little bit, if, if that would be the case, where if this went down and sunk, um, would we fail when we're not even in the battle yet? Now, if you see over here, they have this one here. Now... This has got to be a better class ship. But I do have a fire ship that I might try to take this out with. I'll just have to see how the battle develops. Then they have that one. And then over here, they could also have another one sometimes. But right now they got this one. And that, so. So maybe I'll try to capture this one and see what kind of ship that is. I might want to add that to my Navy. But, you know, and that's why I might use a fire ship to take that one out. But then again, you never know how this battle will go, so mistakes can happen. 
So now enough with the uh, brief. Oh yeah, and this one's a 352, so this one must be the same class ship as that one over there. But here I just want to make sure that this one's on full sail. And I want it to shoot at that ship, which it's probably going to, right about there. See if it can take out that mass. I doubt it. And we're going to have to go with the wind and hope. Like, I, I'm going to watch this here. We're at 6, 8, 6, 7. Oh, we're going down. So can we go that way? Oh, and maybe he can shoot at that one, too. Let's see. But yeah, I mean, yeah, he's going to open up on it, but it's nothing I can do. So we might as well go fast because we've got to burn 30 minutes. In game minutes, anyway. All right, now, so, now he's going at 7.2 knots. So, yeah, okay. Now, are they gaining? Yeah, look, he's trying to get in a position to shoot. But, I mean, I, I'm 7.3, I'm 7.2. 7 Seems like when they get shot, sometimes they go slower, but, um... Yeah, I think this might be okay. I think if, if we can stay at s seven, it, it, I don't think they're gonna gain. Uh, well, yeah, but he, he, boy, he is maneuvering. He's trying to angle on to get shots on, but. All right, we're down to 16, 15, and then our ships will come out somewhere over here someplace. But yeah. Now, the wind is going south, north, okay. Yeah, I think that's, he's going 7-3, so I mean, I think that's good. I mean, yeah, they're not, I mean, it's hard to tell. But it's down to six minutes. Five. I mean, I could angle to try to get a shot off, but then he would get closer, and then he would turn, and then fire, and then the ship might get really damaged. So, I think just let it go, you know? Now the time's running out. So we at least did that. We saved that ship. Okay. Fortunately, our fleet, the U.S. fly, is now a chance to survive. Yeah. Okay, here, here my guys are. Attack, death, or freedom. Yeah, yeah. See, this is a... I'm going to pause for just a moment. This is a fight to the death. Now let's see if my plan worked. Um, the very first ship is my now my transport that has that much on it. So now the wind is now instead of going north, it's going northwest. So let me see. Yeah, so he's coming along this way. In relationship to my ships. So then if I think if I... Yeah, if I direct my ships over there... So we all got to go that way. And we're all going at fast speed as best we could. Okay, so I think if I let that ride, and now if we go fast, we're going to see if I can set up a blockade for them to f run into. Now, okay, now see, 
What is going on here? Now see, this game does something stupid. Now see, this game does something stupid. Now that is something stupid. I'm going to tell you what happened. Oh yeah, well, hey, wait a minute. All right, let me, let me, oh, ho, 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 well, let me pause for just a moment. Now, here's something stupid that happened in the game, and, I, and this is, like, happening live, where I just, you know, like, I'm in this game here, and I'm trying to do something, and I'm going to tell you what happened. You saw that this ship, the fly, was headed the way it was, so I said, okay, it's, it's going in the right direction, so I don't care. I know where it's going to end up. So I turn all these ships to head in that direction to set up a blockade for when they ride right into, when they sail right into this area here, right? But what happens is, the way this game is, sometimes they link the ships together whenever you click on a different ship. And so somehow this ship turned... And the good news is that it actually got close to this one and fought. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm kind of I'm just going to see. I mean, this may not work, but it doesn't really matter because if the enemy gets the ship right now, it doesn't matter. I can get it back later. So um, I'm going to I'm going to anchor her, and I'm going to see if I can take uh, this wounded one off. And grab this ship and then have both of these, like, sail away. But, you know, like, again, <laughs> these ships are gonna, uh, you know, shoot at the ship. But let, let it, let's just see what happens. Um, okay, now let me see if I can get him on that ship. Come on, I'm clicking like crazy to get that. And then you gotta get going this way at full sail. You got to get here. Like, see, I'm trying to get it to go there. Get that ship. And then you got to get going. Like, you got to get going. And so do you. I mean, uh, yeah, I know. The wind is not... All right, well, I'm going to have to anchor that guy that we just took over because i got to get this ship to get going. I mean, come on. And look at these ships. They, they're not even knowing what to do at the very moment. All right, look. I'm going to have you go off this way so you can get some clearance so this ship can um, turn. All right. So, yeah, so that was, a, like, actually, like I said, I was complaining that that ship probably got linked up with my other ships, and so it turned or something when I broke the link between all six of my ships. I think it broke the link of this that the fly, so it ended up turning the wrong way and went right into the ships like it should have been leading these like a parade, and it didn't, but that's okay because now I just got a free ship. And um, we'll just send them off that way. And now I got to pause for a moment because this, I got to set this up now. So I'm thinking if I stop right here, they're going to turn into us. So I think I will anchor this one here. I will anchor that one there. I'll bring that one, let me see, yeah, okay, so I'm going to bring this one right to there, now the Bangor can go there, we just got to stage up over there, yeah, and I got this one, so yeah, he can get over there, and then my fire ship, yeah, I got to get that one over here somewhere. Okay. All right, so now I think I can... Everybody is still on... Um, yeah, okay. So now I can go ahead and go... Well, let's go just semi-fast. And to see if we can set up.
and yeah, like I said, I got a free ship right off the bat. So I mean, so that misfortune actually, you know, I mean, like did something good for me instead of uh, something that I was complaining about at the start of this battle that somehow that ship turned. Hey, so now, okay, so now this one's already shooting. All right, so we gotta, we gotta go ahead and uh, get back to normal speed. Okay. All right, so I want you to get up there on a little bit angle. I want you to close in closer. Oh man, they knocked out my my mass. Can you believe that? Unbelievable. They got a lucky shot on my mass. Like I'm telling you, the AI gets lucky. I don't. I hardly, I mean I hardly ever knock out a mass. So I'm gonna try right now. Yeah, look at that. Well, I'm gonna go right there, okay. But did you see that? Knocked out my mass on my best ship. Unbelievable. Ma matter of fact, just for that. No, you anchor. Let me see, can you go ahead and take him? Let's see if we can. We only got one mass. I mean, that is just that just kind of um yeah so i'm gonna need i'm gonna need no get over there all right forget it we're just gonna anchor shoot at that one Yeah, by taking out the mass of my capital ship makes it really hard for me to try to take one of these over now. Alright, well this is getting to be kind of weird. Alright. Let me see if I can get this ship to take this one. I doubt that it's going to happen, but I got to at least... I gotta try to knock some of these out before they start knocking me out. Alright, now, these guys, alright, you're gonna have to do what I planned for you to do. So you guys, this ship has got to get over here. This one can get over there. You gotta k continue on. Let's see what happens. But see, <laughs> the problem that I always have is there's so many things going on on the battlefield that you know, I need to concentrate on, say, deliver this ship to that one. Is that more important? Or is this maneuver in here more important? So, I have this one, try to get that one, but I think he's going to go fast and come off this way. So, I have this one here, so maybe I can bring this one to here 
And now this guy has got to turn that way to try to get this one. I'm going to have to just go and let this one do whatever it wants to do. Because I think I need to come here and block this one. And this one here, maybe I can have it come down this way to try to, you know, deal with this one. But he's got 331. I got 271. So that's not an even match. But So yeah, okay. So let's let it happen. Let's see what, what's going on here. All right, well, I'm going to have to turn this one then, maybe. Yeah, this is all going kind of hairy. All right, you know what? Oh, my gosh. All right, so maybe I can get this one to go over there. You got to turn really quick. Come on. Yeah, this is, like I said, this is a log jam. Meanwhile, oh, 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 okay, hope, oh, pause. All right. Well, like I said, um, I got my hands full over there, as you can see. This, this battle, like I said, is tricky because, like I said, you get one thing that goes wrong and then all these little battles end up all over the place. Now these guys ain't doing much, so maybe I can have them come over here and have some support fire. I don't know. Now this ship is going to have to go like that. That one's going... Matter of fact, I think I ought to just anchor it right there and have it shoot him right there. And then I gotta get to the f oh the fire sh oh jeez now turn please. Man, turn. Are they kissing? Okay, so look, this guy came down here to to fight these guys because they're small. So why don't I try to get you to come down here and greet him? Let's see what we got going on here. Yeah, see, going this way is going against the wind. Oh, so we'll try to go that way. Oh, so I have him going there. I guess I should have these guys get over here. And uh, that one over there. So yeah, okay, I, I hope that this guy is on fire. 
But anyways, okay, let's get back to the battle. I'm sorry that, like I said, I, I'm, I'm pausing and doing all this, but it's just like, just the way things go, you know, like, you have to try to... Midshipman, somebody's dead figures. Hey, I'm gonna have to come on down this way. Huh? Okay, so my Hancock is trying to pull him in. And I'm going to get, let me see, well, Bangor's in a good position to try to get this guy. So let's try that. And actually this one is too. So they are going in the right direction. So let me go ahead and try to do that. No, I want you to on this one and... So these two will cut that one off. This one... I don't know, just have it go that way, I guess. Boy. Now, if this one ain't on fire... I mean, it does kind of look on fire, right? I mean... Because if this ain't on fire, and I have to deal with this... Oh, that's not going to be good. I'll tell you that. All right, now you you got to get in a position to where you can shoot this ship, okay? And you are already in a position where you can shoot the ship, right? Right there. I don't know what the heck is going on here. Okay, hey, well, you know what? Can you guys just take that ship right there? Hurry up. Oh my, come on. I told you to get on that ship. That ship. Alright, well, we're going to dump some guys. Matter of fact, we're going to dump quite a few of them on there. There we go. Man, and this ship didn't even try to, um, I, I told it to, to try to capture him and he didn't do it. Alright, now you need to come over here and get this one. Let's go. Oh, and what do we got over here? Alright, so we got that one. I'm not going to worry about that right there. Alright, 
All right, so we'll get that one, I think. I mean, I do have 200 here and 100 here. Let me see if I can get this one over here. This is a mess. He keeps wiggling away from my transport ship. This unit's trying to get on the transport ship. Alright, look. Will you please blast him? telling you let's see if uh, this any I just want something good to happen all right so now this is going down now I do have Marines on this ship they all have the melee perks so this should be this was the only one that I was questioning Oh, okay, so we got this one. Uh, just drop one unit in there for now. And like I said, um, four marine units. This should be a, 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 a done. Yeah, look, oh, yeah, that little 25 got on it. Oh, oh, come on, I didn't even get to claim it. I better have get it. Darn it, okay. Well, oh, gave me a victory, so they had six ships. I sunk one with a fire ship because you see how messy this this battle was. Now it looks like I have 275, 244 over there, 250. So you know maybe I could have captured it, but I just think that the battle would have. Like I said, I don't know. Yeah, that was a 78 gunship, so it would have been a nice one to add. But, we got the Finch, which is a 52 gunship, and the Dominion, that's a 52 gunship. So, if I can add these two, one to replace the fire ship that I used, and then get this other one, and add those that'll make my fleet stronger I just won't have the really nice um, endurance because I sunk it with a fire ship but anyways that, that's my plan so now you know my plan but anyways so you can see here um, it looks like I had a little bit more than what they had but they did have 288 guns and six ships I had seven ships which I only had six ships. The seventh ship was the uh, the ally ship. Which you've seen what happened at the very beginning of this battle. So that actually worked to my favor. Which I was I was uh, I was complaining to you about it. It's kind of funny that I was complaining that the the flight turned around when it should have just led them all like a parade into my blockade that I would make. But it didn't go down that way, but I still got the ship, so that was kind of cool. Alright, well, okay, if you've seen that, so let's go back to stats and then goals. Eliminate fleet. So this was a fight to the death. So that's why I did bring one fire ship. And these are all the ships and officers. Let's see. Hey, nobody died. So that's good. Commander, commander, and a sub-lieutenant. And captured, um, let's see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 79, and 1, so yeah, not much in, not much in rifles and stuff. 
I think because they didn't allow me to, um, didn't give me time to put somebody on this ship, I would have got a few more rifles had I, uh, had I be, had, was able to do that. So just as I was about to s figure out who I wanted to send over to this sh captured ship, the, the game ended. I mean, the battle ended. So anyways, but yeah, I'm going to take that as a victory. And I'm going to see if I can get those 252 gun ships. I mean, that would be wonderful to have. Because it's a different class ships than what I have right now. And, it, and truly, it would have been nice to have... Oh, wow, look at that. Now, see, I don't put any money into repairs. But look at the Hancock. Look at this damage right here. And look at the cost. So let me let me go over to here first and crew training, healing, repair costs, uh, five percent repair. Okay, well I'm gonna I'm gonna drop one in there. I mean, usually I, I like if you if you've seen my videos, you'll know that I didn't put any in here because I didn't feel that the the I like my ships weren't getting as much damage as normal so you know I you know, if I only spend a couple of hundred to repair a ship it's no big deal to me but when it's 4,000 that is a big deal so I'm gonna I would have put this simple at this point oh matter, matter of fact I would have put it here under rep I wanted to but I'm gonna just to save five percent I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll go back to the repairs and instead of 44 it's 38 23 so that's a little bit better because either way you got to repair the ships right <laughs> and I usually don't complain about 200 500 I don't even complain about 500 and now um let me see which one of these is better. All right, the Finch. So I'm going to add that to my fleet. Oh, yeah. So this is the Indomone class, if I pronounce that correctly. Yeah, look at this. 1,500 space. That is awesome. Right, I'll put those offices on for now. Okay, so now I only got nine rep though. So we're gonna take this one and send it to the admin. I'll send this one. And I'll send this one. And I have enough to get the Dominion too. So I'll go ahead and add that to my fleet. But um, notice I only have eight here and I only have 9,000. So yeah, um, yeah, that's, yeah, that's too bad. But like I said, had I just kept the trophies, they would have cost me a lot of money anyway. So yeah, I'm going to be broke, actually. Yeah, and I didn't even save. Alright, I got to save. Yeah, and I actually didn't save, like, right after that battle. And I made all these, uh repairs and all this stuff here so yeah that's not good right there only nine thousand right now
but the good news is I have 380 on the Hancock. I have 290 on the Dennis. The Banger is hurting. That one's, you know, let's see, how did my Marines do? So, at least they're all over 100, so that's nice. How did the crew do? Oh, I had 125. They're down to 86. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. Because I don't have much money. But let me see if I can get the Finch with a crew. Now let me see how much... Uh, how many rifles we have. Okay, well, we have two, two, is that 238 or something? Let's see. Yeah, no rifles there, okay. So I guess I could go right here to that one. No, this one right here with the sword. All right, so we can go up to take the reserves because I have 218 reserves. And they'll have perks. So we can go up to two. Yeah, because 239 will cost me I'm trying to do this as cheaply as possible. All right, so we got the Finch added. Now the question would be, could I also, do I have enough money to get a crew on this one? Put the Lieutenant there. I'll take the cheap guys, let's see. Well, we do have a lot of these. All right, so it looks like 350. It's going to cost 4,000. And they're going to have really lousy stats, but I will do that only because this way I can add it to my fleet. Yeah. The other ships I'll just leave alone for now, and um, we will take a look at this. Got, so this is what we got for that battle to challenge. And I got two uh, points of interest to do which I always do if that's the last thing to do in the video. So I will go ahead and do that. Delivery required. I'll put the Hancock in. I'm putting those ships in even though they don't have much on them, but it's 100% and that'll give them experience. And then divide and rule. I'm gonna put in the two uh, 
fifth rates that I just got. And we'll put the dentist in. And that's a hundred percent. So my two transports are the only ships not in it. And we'll end that by hitting the stage. Now let's watch the money here and let's watch the rep. So I got four and eight and I have some prisoners. Okay, so you know what? I need, I think I need money. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the money instead of the rep. I'll sell the prisoners. And as you can see, um, delivery required. We got 9,000 and five reputation. Our ship's got none, none in light damage, and we we didn't sink any though. That's too bad. And that was with my third rate ship there. We didn't sink any. All right. And divide and rule. Got nine thousand for that five rep. Light none, none, and hey, we did sink that one. The Liverpool. So it's it always it's good to do those because now I only had four thousand so now I have some money and what did what did the Congress do oh they just gave us the USS Delaware all right so I think what I'll do is I'm gonna have to obviously repair my ships let me see took a little damage just fifty one one ninety and we. Lot. Oh no, so the Delaware needs a captain, but yeah, I'm not going to do anything with this ship right now because I don't know what I want to do with it. If anything, I might bump up uh, these because the next battle is revenge. Which looks like a land, it's a, it's a land battle. You have to get right over here. So I'll need four ships, two transports, and two, two ships. So yeah, um, I think I'll end the video right now because the only additional Like we already got 380 here and I think we have, you know, whatever. So in order not to just drag out the video, I mean, I'll just tell you before I play it again, I don't think I'm going to put anybody on here. I think I might try to get these guys up to 125 or 150, depending on how this money's going to go. And I might take some people off some of the ships and put them on to like the Hancock and one of these. So that's the only thing I'll do um, off, but I just haven't, you know, like I'm going to have to take my time thinking about how to best do that. So we'll go over here and we'll save the game. I always like to say after the um, harbor, because that means I'm mostly set up for the next battle, but I'll just have to tweak it just a little bit. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoy the game, even though you might hear me be frustrated once in a while and say things, but, you know, it's just the way it is. Like, you know, there's different things that happen in the battle that can can get you frustrated, but... Anyways, I hope no matter where you are in the world, I like to say I wish you the best. Take care of yourself. Take, be kind to others. Have a great day, whether it's your early morning or your afternoon or your evening or your afternoon. Take care. God bless to your own religion. And this is Jeff signing out. Adios, amigos.